What makes America great? This question has been plaguing our generation for a while now. What makes our nation a great one? Is it our materialism, how much we have? Is it our military power or our prowess in diplomacy? I say not. For if it was only that, then we would be no better off than Germany, than Britain, than France, or any other developed nation for that matter. Nay, it is not the body, but the spirit, the soul, that shows that we are great. And the soul of our nation is comprised of a triumvirate of values. Liberty, change or compromise, and the American dream. Now, liberty has been our cornerstone since our beginnings. We have fought a war for liberty. We have fought many forces, both inside and in inward, for liberty, whether it be the freedom for ourselves or for our brothers and sisters. It is through liberty that we are able to decide our own fate, that we are able to change the course of events, that the universe is not strictly controlled by either God or nature, but that we ourselves are masters of our own destiny and our own world. It is through freedom and liberty that we are able to change the world to our betterment or to the betterment of our fellow countrymen. Alas, we cannot live off only liberty. We must also live with change. It is through change that we are able to will ourselves into a greater existence. We changed our fate. We changed the way we lived by splitting off from Britannia and becoming our own nation. Our revolution has been a battle for change for our betterment. And it is with change that we must also live with compromise. Compromise is not only a unique part of democracy, it is the central idea of democracy. Without compromise, there is no way to keep a nation together. There is no way of letting bygones be bygones, of dealing and looking into the future, changed for the better. It is better to have half a loaf of bread than to have no bread at all. That is the spirit of compromise, and that is what keeps a country together. And it is what we have done in order to keep democracy alive and keep our nation in unity. But all of this is mute if we forget the driving force of all this, the American dream. This dream is in the hearts of all Americans. It is the spark, the flame that spurs us into action. Through this dream, this ideal, we hope to better ourselves, our society, and everything in between. This is our vision, and this is what has pushed America to the future to progress. It is what has led us to make change, to seek liberty, and to compromise in order to ascertain ever closer our American dream. This virtue of ours has led other nations to dare revolutions. We are the cornerstone, and our American dream has inspired them to go for their own dreams. That is what truly makes America great. It is liberty. It is change, it is this dream, this ideal that we pursue. This is what makes us awe-inspiring to others. It makes us a city upon a hill. It is through our freedom, it is through our ideals, it is our very being, our soul itself, that makes this nation tremendous and inspiring, greater than all of the other nations. It is because of these ideals, of these virtues that we hold, that we, that America is a nation of greatness, heartening all others and stirring the flames inside our hearts. That is why America is great.